can't see the thermostat, can you? So I've moved into my new house and I haven't done much except put a new bed in the bedroom. New house, new bed. 60 degrees in here. That sounds like 15 degrees Celsius, 16 degrees. And the heat ain't going on even though I have it selected to heat. So I changed the batteries in this thing and I went into the basement. What is the difference between a basement and a cellar? The basement has half of its space above the grade. A cellar has half of its space below the grade. That's what happens, happens when you listen to too many TV shows that discuss these kinds of things or radio shows. Anyways, the previous tenant, I'm not a tenant, I'm an owner, homeowner, house owner. The previous tenant got the wood boiler burning. <laughs> the insurance companies like this. Oh yeah. Heat with wood? Oh yeah, premium. Trampoline, raising pit bulls. So I came downstairs last night because it was chilly in the house. There's definitely a nip in the air. And I played around for a couple of hours with everything. And I mean everything. And I've installed oil boilers from scratch. But I do one every 10 or 20 years, so to say I'm rusty is an understatement. I played around with this thing for a good hour, hour and a half, maybe even two hours. I tinkered with everything that I knew. I can't get this thing to even spark. Nothing. Zero. And it's cold, and I've got a full tank of oil, and I just paid for it today, $538 for 251 gallons. And I've got juice. I know that. Got power. And I tried everything. I don't feel like hiring the heating specialists because they're a hundred bucks an hour. hundred bucks for the first hour and 85 after that. And I'm sure it's something really simple. There's another boiler right there, as I just showed you. And there's a switch for it to turn it on and everything's kind of rinky dink. Just hanging off the wall. There's a circulating pump. This is just the circulating pump. I tried everything. I kind of know how these things work. Let's see. The thermostat is here. So I take a screwdriver. I took one and I touched them together. See if I can get some juice across there because all it's waiting for is, is the circuit to be closed. And usually if you play around with one of these relays, something will kick on and let you know that things are alive. I don't think this guy did anything, but something that's kind of weird that I can't get my wrap my head around. There's only one wire here. And it's supplying the uh, primary control. Why do I keep thinking there should be a second wire connector? And that ground screw wasn't attached. And when I do my work, I'm pretty thorough. Maybe not perfect, but I try to be. I put this on. There was no switch here. I put this disconnect on with a square DQO. Hmm. Why do I keep thinking there's a wire missing here? I know this isn't right. This should have been in a junction box. But it's the way it was. I don't think the guy that was here before did anything. These thermostat wires were disconnected. They were just loose. So I reconnected them. And presumably that's the thermostat. Huh. It's got two zones. There's a thermostat in the back of the house. Maybe I'll go upstairs and turn that on. But one should be adequate. Give me a sec. I'm going to put this video up on YouTube right away. It's uh, almost 10 o'clock at night and I'm freezing. I've got a tiny electric heater plugged in, sucking juice. I just paid an extra $10 a month to get extra bandwidth. It seems that uh, my internet was being throttled down because I was over my 22 gigabytes. I've got an unlimited plan, but it's only 22 at the unlimited speed. After that, they throttle you down and eight, nine o'clock in the morning, my speed would just drop drastically to the point where I couldn't even send a picture using WhatsApp. And if you ask, what's that? <laughs> just put WhatsApp on your phone, trust me. You wanna to talk to me or anybody overseas or send high quality videos, put WhatsApp on your phone. Facebook owns it so they can track you. And if you like Facebook, you won't have a problem putting WhatsApp on your phone. So I'm going to turn the thermostat up in the back zone. Maybe that'll do something. I've got some spare batteries in my pocket. 
Brand new batteries. Yeah, DC Delco. What's in the name, huh? Maybe I can get this uh, this boiler to boil, so I can get some heat without paying some guy a hundred bucks or two hundred dollars to crank that baby up. So I'm going to put this video up right away, and uh, maybe somebody can give me some help here.